about the kids that are in the elementaries. I mean, we're, we're stretched thin as it is trying to cover all. I mean, uh, I go out to two schools a day. Some in Tulsa's Native American community worried about the future of their students' education. Tour Cruise Tatiana Taylor tells us about a forum Tulsa Public Schools held today to address those concerns. This should have started like last year, if this is what their direction they're wanting to go. This should have started last year with the parent committee scheduling these meetings, having uh, public hearings on, on the direction. Dr. Trig Jorgensen is an Indian Education Resource Officer for Tulsa Public Schools. He says he protested outside the meeting because TPS is considering removing seven of ten positions in Indian Education because of the district's budget deficit. The letter that they gave us that told it was budgetary, uh, they directly said it was not uh, it was not performance based. But now, Dr. Jorgensen says the district's telling him something else. They're going to say that it's because uh, uh, we, we failed to get enough uh, 506s. That's the critical form that you have to have to enroll in the program. These forms help determine how much federal money Indian education gets. Uh, about $200 per each one of those forms from uh, uh, for Indian students. And so that goes in to pay for uh, resource advisors, tutoring, all the cultural and academic things that, uh, that our department does. Dr. Jorgensen says he has a solution for TPS. We just want them to uh, uh, not be in charge of the reorganization. We feel that it needs to be driven specifically by the parent committee. Uh, this meeting was not scheduled by the parent committee. TPS Superintendent Dr. Deborah Giss says this meeting was designed to help listen to concerns from people like Dr. Jorgensen. But also allows us to at minimum hold on to it. Honestly, based on everything I'm hearing from families, I'm completely confident we can improve services to our Native American students. She says TPS is doing what's best for the district and the students they serve. So we have notified the uh, people in the office who are in the current positions that their positions may be eliminated so that we can implement a new structure that allows us to work within the means that we have financially. Tatiana Taylor, two works for you. Tatiana, thank you. Now, Dr. Gist tells us a new proposal will be presented to the Board of Education regarding the new structure of the Tulsa Indian Education sometime in March. Now, before that proposal is created, they will be using all feedback from parents and Tulsa Native American community.